Pelea eh, limpia, expect a clean fight. Como voy a decir mis instrucciones, de gente durante la pelea todo el tiempo. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Good luck. Good luck. Mayweather, but offensively, Roy, I think he's an entirely different fighter. Had you can't hit him on the chin. It's not that you can't hit him on the chin, but they do have a superior. Already hit him on the chin with a pretty good shot. It just didn't bother. Me. Out here to trade tapping blows. Marco already has a red mark inside his right eye from the left hook. Marco almost stumbled. Straight right hand by Bron. Hands again, right on the spot where the red mark, and again. <laughs> Those are Broner's left hooks. Throw with bad intentions. He has been cut in the past. DeMarco, though fighting at a slower pace, with Roy. Breast cancer awareness, Larry. Exactly. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, good hook. Value of his punches. DeMarco put it yesterday when we spoke with him about this. Acknowledged that DeMarco's a class fighter and a tough guy. It wouldn't be Adrian Broner if he weren't profoundly confident. He catches DeMarco coming in with a left hand. He's not giving much head move. Go with the left hook. He's not Broner has not got... Because it's not often that a body shot is going to do a lot of damage at one time to a good fighter like... Has anybody thrown two punches in a row yet? Well, they're still in that situation where each guy's trying to land one authoritative punch at a time. That's exactly what they're doing. Why would that be? Because they're trying to establish another. There's a by DeMarco, a right hook to the rib cage, and there's another That's one as DeMarco ball. begins. He's trying to make that statement. That's why both fighters are throwing by five pounds. And I can bleed it. Good left to the body by DeMarco. He told him last fight that he outgrew the weight class. Hard right hand by Brun. In a very calculated, deliberate fashion. Here, and if he's not careful, he'll accidentally walk into one. To the ropes. Uh, but that's on Broner. Broner has to decide when he wants to go to the ropes. He's comfortable right in the middle of the ring, and if he goes, it's hoping six, to six, find six. an opening. Outside his right eye, Harold, how do you have it through three? <laughs> okay, Jim, I've got it two rounds to one. 29-20, Tony DeMarco did win the third round. He started to move his hands a little better. Scores supposedly 25% for defense. Watch Adrian Broner's defense, very interesting. He's got that crosswise defense, the left jaw, and he's not an easy guy to hit. Keeps that shoulder very high, and he punches. Two to one, Broner. It's it appeared in the third round, despite the fact that he's now got that cut outside his right eye. And it's heard, Larry, following the evening, both of these outstanding trainers, Michael Stafford and Romulo Girarte, them are the kinds of guys of their career focusing on amateur fighters rather than professionals. The muscle can't win. Hands are much too quick for him to be inside with him. popped his head up with a nice exchange. DeMarco's head, that is. Good sharp right hand inside by Broner. And another. With a right to the body. Broner lands an uppercut. And another. DeMarco fire right and the left. We've got a fight for Atlantic City with a minute to go in round four. Punches. They trade body shots. Broner with two uppercuts again. Another pair. Marco tries the left uppercut. Broner with a right cross. Good body shot with the left hand by Broner. Another uppercut. DeMarco with uppercuts. Yeah, because his hands are so much more quicker than DeMarco. Marco can't win that fight right there. Marco lands a straight left. And a right hook. Exciting round. Crowd is rising for it. Broner stands right in there. He can see everything coming and counter it. And his body shots are good. Causing DeMarco a lot of... Five seconds, cinco segundos. A lot of guys, Roy, with quick hands who don't want to stand in, though, the way Broner is willing to. Well, he's got a defense that he's highly confident in.
the more the taller fighter's advantage goes away. That's exactly right. And that's what, and not only that, also the quicker fighter. Let's listen to Michael Stafford now from the corner of Adrian Broner. Broner just taking the mark away. Punches on the inside of Kip. Less than a minute to go in round five. There's blood on the face of Antonio Broner. Landing sharp. Clean punches on the face of Antonio DeMarco. Hands much too fast just for DeMarco to continue. Coming. What do you think the warning was, Roy? Well, it's just when he got close to him, he realized that too quick, don't stay away from him. Get close to him and get it. Well, DeMarco has the guts of a burglar. For the big shot. Five seconds. Uh, good Five for him seconds. right now. Great round for Brown. You can see Bono with a left uppercut followed by a short overhand right, which was a beautiful combination of your rounds. So you know the shots are starting to have an effect on him. In Romulo Pirarte told Antonio he wanted to knock the fight, and DeMarco talked out of it. He feeling though, if he keeps taking this kind of punch, no sense in letting him take this type of punishment. He can live the fight another day. Now it looks like a 30 to 1 favorite. <laughs> alive in this round, but he's still getting hit. He shot by DeMarco. Left eye, I guess. And Braun is steadily tapping him. That makes it very hard for him to get off. Trying to make him keep his hands at home for... Good hook by DeMarco. But Braun has a real pace on him right now. Because DeMarco hurting Broner with any one punch. That punch hurt. It's very DeMarco. difficult to turn it. A body punch. Body down. He's not just concentrating on the hit. Uh, now it looks like a comprehensive performance by Harold, how do you have it through six? Look at Jim. 59, 54. Two guys are fighting head to head, toe to toe for rounds. Uh, Adrian, uh, it's a terrible beating. Wouldn't you to move a little bit? Don't stand in front of this guy. Change your fight. I mean, circle, step to the side, do something different, but don't be too about. I mean, move. five to one, Adrian. You're asking him to be somebody he is. Yeah, really not a plan B fighter. No plan B here. You mentioned the pink gloves, Larry. In the dressing room before the fight, when he was brought the pink gloves, and then freely said, okay. And pink shoes? I'm that was about okay. The I'm talking go. Ah. <laughs> you are correct, sir. So it's lost the fight right there. 90% life. Well, I used to say a fighter is in the pink, but. Well, you definitely can't count out until the last bell rings, that's for sure, or until the ref counts him out because he is truly a fighter. And Still ripping DeMarco with virtually every power shot that he throws. Him, and he is backing it up. <laughs> Saw the texting numbers at the bottom of the screen, which demonstrated get pretty brave on DeMarco's behalf. Like that Brunner does is, anytime DeMarco does throw two or three punches, Brunner hits him stop. Marco swinging away with the straight left hand. Only got a glancing blow. Brunner's land hard shots. More uppercuts. Let him throw those pop shots. Well, it looks almost like he's trying to tire Run her out by taking punches. Down goes DeMarco, being left hook. And they're waving a right. Followed by that right uppercut, then followed by another hook, another right to the body. He had a 
Good body and head attack, followed by left uppercut and down goes. Ninth round TKO and eighth round TKO. Broner closed the show in round eight, landing 37 of 45 power shots. That's target practice. Time.